is one of the hottest industries here in California, but solar power supporters claim that they're about to be shortchanged by California's public utilities. KCRA3's Mike Lurie is live for us in Sacramento's Natomas neighborhood to show us why all the sparks are flying. Mike? Well, Golston, as you can imagine, it is all about the money. Rooftop solar panels, very popular, as you can see behind me on this roof in this neighborhood in Natomas. But utilities are looking to cut the discounts they offer for the energy you generate. I can pretty much turn the savings on. <laughs> Since going solar this summer, Sean Milner has saved a bundle on his electric bill. Now moving into August, 191. It's time to go solar. 20 bucks, 19 bucks, much better. Sean's energy savings are locked in, but others may not be so lucky. Dozens of solar advocates protested at the Capitol today. They're concerned that solar savings could go dark if utility companies get their way. They basically want to make solar two to three times more expensive than it is today. Solar is soaring in popularity. The industry says some 400,000 people have solar panels on their homes, schools, or businesses, and many receive subsidies for generating their own power. So we want solar to continue. Farmers in our area are putting a lot of solar in. Farmer Les Herringer of Chico is selling the extra power he generates to PG&E. It made it financially possible to put in our own solar field. But the subsidies for solar make electricity more expensive for those without panels. And now utilities want to cut the discount they give to customers using solar. PG&E is 100% committed to solar. We see um, solar is part of the clean energy future here in California. We're looking for a way to work with everybody to make this a sustainable growth pattern for solar. The Public Utilities Commission is getting plenty of feedback from consumers and utilities over the controversial issue of how much rooftop solar their customers should be compensated. There's something like 60 different parties in this. They mm -hmm. all have proposals. Okay. So the solar industry says it generates some 1,000 jobs just in the Sacramento area alone. There is therefore much, much at stake here, especially with California now having a mandate, a goal of generating half of all of its electricity from renewable sources in just the next 15 years. Reporting live in Natomas, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. So, Mike, what's the time frame here for the PUC to decide on this and just how much people will get paid for generating their own electricity? Right. Well, Golson, the original deadline was December, but Michael Picker, the uh, PUC chair, told us today that they've had so much feedback, so much uh, input from the public that they're actually going to probably push that decision back until January of next year. That's a big decision that homeowners make. Okay, Mike, thanks.